about in the last uh, session. So in the last uh, session, we started with the uh, uh, functional overview uh, where uh, we have seen like how CRM can be used um, in uh, a different industry, how CRM uh, can be used uh, in a different industry. Yeah. So in the last uh, session, we uh, uh, covered uh, the functional overview where we have uh, seen like uh, uh, how um, we can uh, use uh, CRM with the different industries. What is an entry point? What is an exit point? And then uh, we also covered what are the different sources uh, to get the leads into dynamic CRM. And in the last uh, session, we created a campaign. And for that campaign, uh, uh, we executed a campaign and then we created a lead for that campaign. And after uh, creating a lead, uh, after creating a lead, we qualified the uh, lead. And once the lead is qualified, uh, once the uh, uh, lead is qualified, the out of box behavior is that it creates the account contact and opportunity. The out of box behavior is that it creates the account uh, uh, contact and opportunity. So once the uh, lead gets created, once the leads uh, uh, get created, uh, the marketing, once the lead is qualified, the marketing person job is done. And from here, the sales person is going to take care. Now, before starting the sales process, before starting the sales process, uh, we will have to do a product catalog setup. So we need to set up the product in the system. How are we going to uh, set up the product? So let me go to the uh, product catalog here. So to go to the product catalog, we'll go to settings. We have product catalog here, so I'm going to the product catalog. So there are uh, four entities um, are related to the product catalog um, in uh, uh, settings. There are four entities related to product catalog in settings. That is product and family, uh, price list, discount, and unit groups. Product and fam um, uh, families and product, price list, discount and unit group so these are the uh, four entities which is associated to a product catalog which is associated to a product catalog so product what product you're going to provide to the customer like um, uh, for a samsung example it can be a 6 s5 and for an insurance company it can be an insurance policy for an insurance company it can be an insurance policy and um, if you take an example of a recruitment uh, recruitment industry that is now Cree, monster jobs db so the recruitment industry uh, product is nothing but a job and um, for a training industry product is nothing but a, a course for a training industry product is nothing but a course uh, next uh, price list so one product can have a, a multiple price list one product uh, can have a multiple price list so example like for a wholesaler there might be a different pricing and for a retailer there might be different pricing and for a distributor there might be a different pricing that we are going to configure in the price list next um, discount so discount is like the, there are two types of discounts in every industry there are two types of discounts in every industry uh, one is the product level discount and other is a sale level discount. So what is the difference between the product level and the sale level discount is product level discount is applicable to all the customer. All the customer and the sale level discount is given only for a particular customer. Sale level discount is given only for a particular customer. Next term um, we have a uh, unit group. So we are going to define the units like six pack 12 pack 48 pack. So this type of units we are going to define in the system. This type of uh, uh, units we are going to define in the system. So now uh, to set up the product, I'm going to create a new product. So here I'm going to add a product. Samsung S6 product ID S6-001 
so unit groups i'm going to select here uh, the default unit so if you go to the default unit default unit will have a quantity of one so units are nothing but we are going to define like six pack 12 pack boxes of a handset so that we are going to configure uh, in the units so samsung s6 s6 hyphen 001 this is the key product id unit default default unit primary unit decimal supported zero now next uh, uh, we have the price list price list is like one product can have uh, multiple price list one product can have a multiple price list so here we are going to uh, create a new price list So price list, if you see, um, like um, it will fluctuate based on uh, the uh, type of uh, the seller, like whether it is a retailer or a wholesaler. For a retailer, there will be a different pricing. For a wholesaler, there will be different pricing. And on a quarterly basis, uh, the prices may fluctuate. In the first quarter of the year, the price may be some $100. And in the second quarter, it might go up to $50 or it might increase also. So that uh, we are going to configure in the uh, system here. So I'm going to create a, a Samsung quarter one. Quarter one. Okay, so here I added this one. What is the duration of this um, price list from 1st of June till So 31st August, okay. Now save this one. So let me associate a price list. So when I open this uh, price list, so we have a price list item. So I clicked on the price list item and associating a price list. So here, let me go here and associate a price list that is. Uh, Samsung and uh, units is the default to your unit and discount see discount is not uh, mandatory but um, if you are as this is the product level feature so we're going to cover all the uh, product feature so I'm going to create a discount here so discount uh, like uh, this discount whatever we are providing now is the product level discount which is applicable to all the customers so i'm going to say here samsung discount so we have an option here to it will be a percentage or flat amount so i'm going to select a percentage so go to the discounts here and add a discount here so I'm going to add a quantity between 10 and 20 percent. So if we have 10 and 20 percent, then we're going to provide 10 percent of discount. If the products are being sold between 10 and 20 quantity, then we are going to provide 10 percent of discount. OK, so now let me save and close. So I added this one. Amount is put it as hundred dollars. Save and close. 
Okay, so now we added to this one. Now we go to the price list. So here we have Samsung quarter one, right? So what we'll do is that we'll activate it because by default, um, uh, the product catalog, whenever we create a product catalog, it will be in draft mode. So I'm going to activate this one. So I activated. Now we are done with the product catalog setup. So we are done with the product catalog setup. Let me close all these things. So if you go to the uh, settings and then go to the product catalog. So we created a product for that product. We created a price list and for that price list we associated a, a discount and then we have a uh, units of uh, uh, product like five pack 12 pack six pack. Now this is a prerequisites to start the sales module. So once we are done with this one, we'll go back to the opportunity as a salesperson. We'll go back to uh, the opportunity. Let me go to the opportunity here. Go to sales and then go to opportunity. So in the last session, we created uh, one opportunity. So we'll open that opportunity itself. So here, this is the opportunity Samsung email. Now why we why we are using this opportunity is because we will have track like from where we got this opportunity tomorrow if you want to generate any reports yeah. one question you know uh, we created a product price list and uh, all these things uh, uh, related yes. relation to right uh, why yes. we didn't put the product family which one product fancy why we use product families like you have a bundle of product example uh, let's take an example you have you're selling the samsung including mm -hmm. samsung you are also selling uh, this one uh, 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 this uh, samsung accessories right you're also selling the accessories so mm -hmm. then what we do is that uh, we will add a product family for that one will add a product pro product family so under that uh, how many sub products are there that all will come under that family as a bundle right yeah so yeah in our business we always use bundle um, mm -hmm. so how do you do that can you uh, go ahead and do that one bundle for me under product yeah. uh, few product and uh, under one bundle yeah you can just go and add a product family here so here we go and add a product family So this is the optional fields. So when you open this SSD, right? Right. You're going to add the associated products here. Okay. So in this like uh, uh, you can add uh, similarly like how many uh, sub product like headset is there and uh, whatever the uh, accessories that comes right so that you can add in the uh, bundle of the product so and remaining uh, things are same what we did in the product uh, like uh, setting up the uh, default uh, unit group setting up the default unit group so this remaining things are same what we did in the product catalog setup so now by default it will be uh, this option will be in draft mode so it is mandatory to publish it so if you don't publish it um, this uh, uh, product uh, product family 
you will not be able to use uh, in opportunity so now we published this one so if you see here so we have one product and one product family okay now we'll go back to the opportunity so if you go to the opportunity here so we will open the same opportunity which we qualified down with the leader here so this will help us to uh, generate uh, the reports like uh, from where we got this opportunity tomorrow if you want to generate a report and see how much revenue you have uh, uh, got uh, from the advertisement because this lead which we got is through an advertisement that a campaign management using a campaign management we got this lead and that lead is qualified and after qualifying the lead uh, the opportunity got created now we will be continuing with that same opportunity now here uh, this uh, is a business process flow so when we move to customizations and configuration we'll be covering this all so here in this example we will just uh, um, uh, follow the steps uh, uh, from the functional point of view so if you see here these are all out of box features so now uh, for this um, uh, we are going to associate a price list so samsung quarter one as the price list and we have an option here user provided or system calculated so if you say user provided um, uh, manual uh, calculation we have to do it if you say user provided manual calculation we have we have to do a manual calculation and then if i say system calculated automatically system will do the calculation next i'm going to associate and product so what is that product we have samsung s6 so what is the quantity uh, so quantity uh, i'm going to increase the quantity here to 10 now if you notice here the final amount is uh, 900 dollars this is because uh, we have the product level discount this is because we have the product level discount if the quantity is between uh, 10 and 20 percent if the quantity is between 10 and 20 percent uh, we are getting 10 percent of discount we're getting 10 percent of discount so this is applicable to all the customers this is applicable to all the customers if the quantity is between 10 and 20 percent we'll get the 10 percent of discount okay next uh, this discount uh, uh, is the sale level discount which is not applicable to all the customers sale level discount is applicable only for a particular customer example when you go to the retail shop only for you uh, the uh, retail person is giving some discount just not to lose the deal or if they have any targets if they didn't reach the target they will give some more discount so that is the sale level discount which is not applicable to all the customers so here i'm giving 10 more percent of the discount and uh, you can see the final amount is uh, around uh, 810 dollars next term uh, every business will not have the quotations orders and invoices so based on the requirement of the business uh, we will use this feature of quotations orders and invoices so there are some implementations example like if you uh, want to implement this uh, as an xrm implementations uh, for recruitment management system recruitment management system example is like naukri monster jobs tv so they are also uh, doing customer relationship management they are generating revenue by selling the courses so to sell the courses they're doing marketing they're doing sales and also providing a service to the customer so those type of industries does not require the quotations orders and invoices but if it is a sales process or a retail industry then they do require the quotations orders and invoices so there are some implementations where uh, for these quotations uh, orders and invoices they do use some third party erp systems third party erp systems are integrated with the ax also uh, for uh, the quotations orders and invoices so in this example we'll use the out of box uh, features uh, that is quotation so we can create more than one quotation to a business more than one quotation to a business so here i'm going to add a quotation so we added a quotation as a draft quotation now let me open this one more than one quotation we can add it okay so here um, if you see here this is the uh, quotation which we added and at the time of quote uh, also we have an option to give some more discount just not to lose the deal just not to lose the deal so i'm giving 10 20 percent of discount at the time of quotations and the final amount comes to 720 dollars 
Now, if the customer is happy with the quotation, if the customer is happy with the quotation, we will activate the quote. We'll activate the quote, and then once the quote is activated, quotation is activated. Next step is that creating an order. So we're going to create an order here. So order as one. Okay, so click OK. And once the order is created, next step is that uh, uh, to create an invoice. So here we have an option to create an invoice with the same information it will get populated creating an invoice. And once the invoice is paid, once the invoice is paid, confirm invoice or invoice paid. So we have an option here confirm invoice, invoice paid or cancel invoice. So if we say invoice paid, then the opportunity is one. Opportunity is one. And then uh, the opportunity is closed as one and the sale is done. So if you go back to the opportunity, you can filter out this opportunity with the closed opportunities. So this is a closed opportunity within a revenue of $720. So if you want to generate a report, if you want to generate a report from an advertisement that is campaign advertisement and how much revenue you got, so you, you will be able to track it. You will be able to uh, track it. Okay, now this uh, opportunity is won and there is an equal probability that the opportunity can be won or opportunity can be lost. So here I'm going to create another, another opportunity that is a new opportunity. Apple. Okay, we can directly uh, open the lead and qualify it. So it this is the regular process which we have to follow so instead of directly creating an opportunity we can qualify the lead and then automatically it creates uh, uh, the opportunity account okay so here uh, if you notice here uh, this is an opportunity which we created now this opportunity we can close this as a lost also that customer is not interested in our product. Customer is not interested in our product. I'm so I'm going to close this as a lost. So when we are closing this as a lost, we have an option to select a competitor. Who is a competitor for our business? So tomorrow, if you want to uh, generate a report and see why do you lost the business and who is the competitor? So then you can track with this competitor. So here I'm going to select the competitor here and then close this opportunity as a lost. We close this opportunity as lost. So when the opportunity gets clo uh, closed as lost or one, the salesperson job is done. Okay, so now here when you go to the sales module, uh, dashboards are independent. Um, when you go to the sales, uh, when you go to uh, uh, the sales uh, dashboards is an independent topic. So when we move to customizations and configuration, we'll be covering dashboards and um, accounts are the contacts. Accounts are the customer company or a client. Contacts are the contacts for that customer company or client. Uh, leads are inquiries. Opportunities are the potential sale. Competitors, uh, who is a competitor to your business? Quotations, what quotations we're going to provide to the customer. Orders, invoices, products, sales literature is the same. What we see in marketing module, that is uh, if you required uh, any marketing material or uh, any marketing related or sales related documents, then you can use the sales literature entity. Marketing list is to group the accounts, contacts, or leads. Campaign is an advertisement. Goals is an independent topic. So when we move to customizations and configuration, we'll be covering goals and tools is also an independent topic. So clear any questions in the sales module? Uh, no, Farooq, I don't have any question. I can be able to follow uh, the the flow from beginning, not a problem. Yeah. All right. Okay, so now next, uh, we'll move to uh, the service module. 
so once the opportunity is won uh, the sales person job is done and from here the service person is going to take care now before starting the service module before starting the service module we'll have to set up the uh, uh, the prerequisites for the service module so when we are providing a service to the customer it cannot be a lifetime free service initially the service might be of uh, six months of free service then customer has to renew the contract and if the customer is in contract then we will be able to provide the service now to set up the prerequisites right uh, first we will go to settings and uh, go to templates so here we have uh, the contract template so in the contract template we are going to uh, set up the uh, calendar like what type of support we are going to provide like it is 24 by 7 support or five days a week support so that we are going to configure in the contract template so i'm going to create here samsung contract we have a gold okay next term um, uh, we are going to provide here like 24 by 7 support or if five days a week support or let's say on sunday and uh, the service is not available from uh, 5 pm service is not available from 5 pm that is from 8 to 5 the service is available that we are going to configure in the contract template so this is what we do the configuration in the contract template next i am going to save this one next step is that to create a contract so i'm going to create a contract here so we go to service and go to the contracts okay i'm going to create a new contract here samsung contract contract template so while creating a contract uh, we have an option here to select uh, the contract template so i'm going to select uh, the contract template next i'm going to create a contract that is samsung contract and who is the customer so he's the same customer with whom we did sales with marketing and now we are providing a support to a customer now we are providing a support uh, to a customer so we have an adventure works here and what is the duration of the contract that is from 1st of uh, june to 31st of um, august so this is the duration that is 92 days from here okay now next uh, uh, let me save this one Now there is one more entity called contract line see contract line is a terms and condition to contract example when you purchase any online product uh, you will get one year of free service now in that one year of free service you will have some terms and conditions saying that one replacement is free in a year one replacement is free in a year so that replacement term is nothing but a terms and condition uh, to a contract so if you ask for more than one replacement the business would not be able to provide more than one replacement so here i am going to add uh, the contract line what is the contract line replacement And what is the quantity here? Total price is quoted as hundred dollars. How many replacement? One replacement. Seven close. Okay. The next step is that we need to activate the contract. We go to the contract here, and I'm going to activate it. So by default the contract will be in draft status and i'm going to activate the contract so now we activated the contract next um, there is one more entity called uh, knowledge base articles there is one more entity called knowledge base articles 
Now, why do we use knowledge based articles in the service module is like so whenever you call to the customer care department. The very first job of the customer care department is to resolve the case on the call itself. Now to resolve the case on the call itself uh, to resolve the case on the call itself. Uh, they provide some internal problem solving scripts. So whenever you call to any customer care department and then you have when you say that you have an issue. The very first job is that they try to resolve your issue on the call itself. Now while resolving the issue they follow some steps. So those steps uh, uh, will be configured as a knowledge based articles. Those steps will be configured as a knowledge based articles. So those that knowledge based articles we are going to configure in this example. So if you go to uh, service module and then go to knowledge uh, articles. I think something went wrong here. Uh, so here uh, I think the product itself. Uh, there is some issue with the product. Uh, when you click on this knowledge base articles, uh, nothing is happening. It is redirecting to the home page. So this would be a product issue. It's redirecting back to the home page so we can go with the advanced find and get this. Entity. So we have this articles right so click on result. We don't have any article so I'm going to create a new article here. So while creating an article we have an option here uh, to select that this is a solution to a problem. It's a kind of a template that solution to a problem or question and answer or a standard KB article. So I'm going to say that solution to a problem. Okay, so what is this customer unable to connect? Customer unable to connect. Subject as the default subject. Okay, next, what is the problem? Customer unable to connect. And we are saying that please follow the below steps to resolve the issue. Please, please follow the below steps to resolve the issue and you can provide some screenshots and then steps and in real time this will go to a submission team and from there uh, it will get either approved or rejected if it is approved then which means that this will be a solution to a problem if it is approved which we can provide this as a solution to a problem so right now i am the administrator so i'm going to submit this one and I'm going to approve this one. I'm going to submit this and I'm going to approve this one. So I approved uh, this one and uh, this has given a knowledge base articles. Next term, uh, there is one more entity called subject. So subject term is not mandatory, but this will help us to categorize what type of issues we are getting, like uh, technical issues, non technical issues, so display related issues. Our keyboard related issues network related issues those type of subjects we can configure as an hierarchy and filter out like what type of issues are the cases being registered in the system. So I'm going to create a subject here. So we go to subject. And add a subject. Technical issue. Technical issue. Under technical issue, we have a display issue.
on the display show we have lcd or lcd so like this i added a hierarchy here now these are all prerequisites to start uh, uh, the service module what are the prerequisites we created uh, we created a contract and we created a contract template we created a contract line knowledge base articles and subjects so these are all prerequisites to start the uh, sales mo service module now i'll go to the service module so we go to cases here i'm going to create a new case what is the case if customer calls with a complaint we're going to create a case so let's say customer calls with a complaint saying that uh, customer unable to connect and what is the subject here so we are going to select here a technical issue under technical we have display related issue and who is the customer he is the same customer with whom we did marketing sales and now we are going to provide the service to the customer what is the origin it will is a phone call next term um, we are going to associate uh, contract to the customer so let me save this case so we'll associate a contract so we have a samsung contract now when i select the contract you notice here contract line is mandatory contract line is mandatory so i'm going to select here the contract line that is a replacement and then knowledge base articles knowledge base articles is like uh, uh, the problem solving or uh, the solution what we are providing to the customer what solution we are providing to the customer so i'm going to search with customer and able to connect so this is the knowledge base articles so we're going to show this knowledge base articles and then next step is that i'm going to uh, resolve the case so this is the solution which we are providing to the customer and i'm going to resolve the case so here i'm going to say resolve now the case is uh, resolved next time if another customer uh, same customer calls up with a problem so we are going to create a case customer unable to connect and what is the issue here a technical issue under technical display lcd related issue customer is the same customer adventure works is the customer okay now let me save this one so when we go to the contract i selected the contract now if you notice here we have the contract line but we are not able to select the contract line why we are not able to select the contract line because there was one replacement and that replacement is already being used it now the customer has to renew the contract if the customer is in contract we will be able to provide the service to the customer now, now if you go back to the customer adventure works so you have the full track 360 degrees view track with the customer like how many contacts you have with this customer how many opportunities you have with this customer and uh, how many contracts you have with this customer how many cases you have with this customer each and everything you'll be able to track with the customer so how many contracts how many opportunities you have with this customer how many leads you have with this customer everything you will be able to track with the customer uh, clear any questions no farak i can you need to follow yeah so you were saying invoicing right invoicing is done after the contract is created so the invoicing within dynamics right yes 
Okay. So there are there are few scenarios like where uh, some people will also use uh, uh, the third party tools to generate uh, the invoice and the quotations. Third party right. tools also integrations. Integrations yeah, with third party tools. Yeah, we are using Argo for invoicing. So what we are doing now, uh, as soon as this code and everything is done, uh, we are sending the contract to Oracle. No, yes. Yeah, that's what the uh, module currently. Yeah, so that I'll show you uh, when we uh, move to the technical part. How technically you can integrate uh, dynamic CRM with other systems, or mm -hmm. uh, with, uh, using the code. How you can integrate dynamic CRM with. So this is just a functional flow to understand the system and each module how it works. Yeah. yeah. How it yeah. works. So this is. Once we this. Yeah, once we cover this next we'll start with the customizing the applications. Okay, so in this uh, you have a created case, right? Can you go to case and on the account account you are saying we can see everything how many opportunities and contract and the yes. account levels. I see just now I see the cases and under the case. I see the dispatching board and field service is that can you go? I just uh, the dispatching board uh, on the service side right? when you go to service so under service model under service module okay yeah under service uh, go to cases mm -hmm. and cases use I just see the uh, uh, dispatching board next level you know the dispatching the for field services and all those models. yes that uh, field yeah field service is independent module so we'll say uh, uh, do this separately field service related okay so how the why this is linking on here under uh, mm. yeah because this field service is again associated with our uh, uh, the customer as Perfect. well as the support uh, yeah and the contract right right yeah got it yes good yeah you have a dispatching board as well uh dispatching the field dispatching you know in the field service module i think within this uh, i think within this uh, field service we have a dispatching our dispatching is yet separate uh, module i don't know we are using a dispatching board that means you know you want to dispatch some uh, you have a, a support uh, you have a couple of resources for example technicians we have uh, we have mm -hmm. a 10 technicians the 10 technicians can we can see on their availability on the dispatching board basically it's kind of calendar uh, and we can assign the dispatcher to them because we are an oil and oil and gas right uh, yeah. our, our customer calls we uh, okay this for technician is available nine to seven this time so i can schedule the work for him next one week like that you know that's a overview of available that, is, uh, uh, that, uh, that resource scheduling and project service automation uh, it will come under that one rasi okay dispatching that whatever you are saying right that uh, comes under uh, project uh, resource scheduling rasi Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I can. Yeah. Yeah. Here, here it will show that one. Uh, resource scheduling RASI. Like uh, how you are going to schedule a resource. Okay. Right. Yeah. We got it. Thanks. Okay. So. Uh, there are other features under uh, service module. That is um, uh, this one. Uh, what is under service? We have service management is there. That is how do you uh, generate an SLS and associate an SLS entitlements uh, to a case. Okay. So this is a, uh, an a advanced version of the support, advanced version of the support system where we configure the SLS and provide um, uh, the uh, attack time how within the duration of the attack time and, and how or do we automate the escalation process. Okay. So that will be covered under the service management. So this we will see in the next session. Okay, yes. Okay, and uh, one more thing like uh, next two days, I will not be available due to Ramzan. Uh, that is, I will not be available for next two days. So, 
No problem. Yeah. yeah so yeah. on Monday yeah. we'll have a regular <laughs> session. Yeah. 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 I'll celebrate your festival. Yeah. Here also, my uh, colleagues they are doing uh, for uh, few few people are there. All right. Okay. Yeah, they are fasting and they you know. Yeah, that's, I understand. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, enjoy your week, you know, the holidays right. and yeah, we'll see on Monday then. Uh, yeah, I'll yeah, from Monday we'll have a regular session, so no, we'll not be having any break. We'll have a regular session from Monday. Okay, got it. Uh, thank you very much. So, all right, happy. okay, then, thanks. Adam, John, yeah. Okay, thanks. Same to you. Bye. Bye. Okay, then, thanks.